Hello, my name is James Timmerman, the inventor of the DSMS, which is Dynamic Seawall Maintenance System. This system is a direct result of living on a seawall that was deemed irreparable by a marine engineer and a marine contractor. First, here are some of the tools and materials we will be using for our tie-back installation. Our hydraulically operated boring bit does all the work, boring a hole through the existing seawall from the water side of the installation. Once this hole has been made, the tie-back, with its specially designed helixes, is screwed through the hole into the seawall and the subsurface of your yard. Once the screws have been inserted, a stainless steel flange is placed over the exposed end of the screw. Here are the clamps used in the installation as well as the rail, which is set in the water in a hydraulic rig used to power the boring of the hole and the insertion of the screw. Now we will show you a demonstration of an actual installation, starting with the attachment of stabilizing clamps to a piling. Once both clamps are in place, we attach a stainless steel rod between our two pilings that will form a foundation for the boring of our hole. A stabilizing rod is installed vertically with an orange plastic protective cap screwed to the top as a safety precaution to prevent injuries. Next, our rail is secured with guidelines and flotation devices are placed into the water. It's screwed into place in a line. We then secure the end of the rail and prepare for the hydraulic setup. Once the carriage has been laid in place with the coring bit installed, we turn on our power unit and begin the drilling procedure. Here we are shown removing an existing tie back for the purpose of maintenance and inspection. We use the same setup for removal and installation. For a long life and durability, all construction materials are marine grade type 304 stainless steel. Now we run the tie back into the wall, leaving roughly four inches of the screw exposed. The ability to remove and adjust a tieback demonstrates the true dynamic nature of a dynamic seawall maintenance system. We put in a cap plug and then install our steel flange and bolt it into place. When I first started noticing some changes on my seawall, uh, I had an engineering company come out and have them assess it. Uh, and it, what I suspected would happen is that some, something was moving and some work, something had to be done about it. Or it could have, could have done nothing and let the seawall fall into the canal. But I decided, well, I better address this now because it's not going to go away and it's not going to get any better. Of the options that were explained to me, them being uh, pilings driven in front of the wall, uh, riprap, heavy stone placed at the bottom to avoid movement. Um, both of those would have involved taking down this deck I'm on now and really disrupting the landscaping behind me. Uh, uh, so I was really looking for something. I didn't know such a thing existed, but I kept asking them, well, is there anything else? Is there anything else? And they mentioned this new system of screw anchors. The more I heard about it, the more it kind of fit in. Because when you first get that, uh, that diagnosis of your wall, it's, it's kind of shocking when you talk, you're talking about major things here. Uh, the price included for a seawall like this, is, which is 120 feet, taking this stock down, putting it back up, and putting it back up by new codes, which means 
the roof I have over my boat lift would be gone. Uh, it, it's, it gets your attention. So the, everything, all this work, when he explained to me how it was done, is done from the water side. And being I live on the land side, that, that seemed pretty good. They came in. They did the work. They did it in a short amount of time. To me, the biggest thing is there were no surprises. Everything they told me that was going to happen, it happened that way. It went smoothly. Uh, and that's about, about all you can ask for. Uh, the mature trees and lush landscaping in our backyard, as well as our pool area, were such a joy for my husband and me. We were just sick over the prospect of having to rip all that out in order to maintain our failing seawall. Well, thanks to DSMS, we were not only able to keep our trees and landscaping, but we were actually able to have an outdoor party that night following our installation. Hi, my name is Greg Mann with Blue Marlin Marine Construction out of Marco Island, Florida. Um, the advantages of using this system, this type of tieback system, um, first of all, you don't have to dig up behind the seawall. You don't have to disturb the, the landscaping, the yard. You don't have to worry about you know destroying any type of uh, irrigation systems or any type of electrical lines or, or telephone lines. Um, the the system itself is obviously installed from the water side. You can actually have a lawn party. You know, basically the, the very same day that you're actually doing the installation. To me, um, the most important thing is that the time that you save, uh, you know, a typical installation where you actually dig up behind the seawall, go back 15 feet, and you pour uh, concrete anchors, not only do you normally have to wait for the, uh, the concrete truck to get there, you have to worry about concrete pumping. Not only that, but you also have to, uh, you know, you have to think about the engineering and things like that, the steps that you need to take in order to get this job completed. With this process, um, it's so simple that we can actually get a, a typical tieback job done, we're talking 10 tiebacks on a seawall, and have that done in, in usually an 8 to 10 hour day. So uh, that's the most important thing, that why I like to use the system. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, there, there is no other system. Once again, wanted to thank you for your interest in this product. We understand that there will be questions in regards to this. Please direct all inquiries to 239-394-8885 or visit our website at dsms1.com. Thank you.